Well, athletics, as you know, are returning to Mississippi University for Women, and the search is now on for an athletic director. And the announcement came earlier this week. Today, WCBI's Alyssa Martin talks with MUW President Dr. Jim Borsig to find out more about the big change. She joins us live in the studio with more. Guys, athletics at the W were discontinued in 2002 after a tornado damaged much of their athletic facilities. Now, Dr. Borsig tells me after much consideration, he's excited about the return of sports, but there's a lot of work to be done before the games can begin. And it's pretty clear that this is really good for our students. It's good for student life. It's good for campus spirit, school spirit, and it's going to connect us as a university back into the community in a way that I think everyone here thinks is important. That's President Dr. Jim Borsig's reaction to bringing intercollegiate athletics back to the W. Borsig says the university has been studying the decision for the past three years. He says some of the school's original sports will return, as well as some new ones. Softball, baseball, men's and women's basketball, men's and women's tennis, volleyball, uh, cross country, men's and women's, and um, tennis. So we have an idea. Some of it's based on the facilities that we have on campus. I mean, we really are, even though we're restarting athletics, we really have a lot of great facilities here. So we're not starting from scratch, and so it's not as uphill a climb, I think, as, as some might imagine. The W will compete in Division Three athletics, but it's too early to know what conference it will join. We have opportunities in the southeast to join a conference, but we have to be playing sports. We have to start those conferences. We hire an athletic director. They will start those conversations with conferences and with the NCAA. Funding for athletics will come from two places, student tuition and private donations. Division three athletics, uh, the student athletes don't receive scholarships. So we're really talking about the operation of the sports programs. And we have done a pretty conservative estimate, I think, on expenses, uh, making sure that we've accounted for everything. And it looks like that the student tuition from the student athletes, if you want to look at it that way, uh, will pay about 80% of the cost. And so we'll have to shift some university resources. We'll also have to do some private fundraising on facilities. Borsik hopes to hire an athletic director this summer. Tomorrow we will have more on his plan to recruit athletes and if a name change will be possible for the university.